Hello guys, welcome back. This is Rafa here. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you on a Mercedes-Benz Citaro in Singapore. Now, if you watched my previous uh, video, the Citaro, uh, here in Singapore, uh, you might remember I mentioned that there are two types of Citaros um, running here. Uh, and actually, I should have been more specific on that video uh, that um, there are Citaros with uh, SVS Transit specification, which is the more common one I wrote uh, last time, and the SMRT specification, uh, the one we're writing today. Um, the SBS Transit one is the more common uh, one, and the SMRT specification one is uh, rarer. Uh, just need a few more minutes for the bus to come. Uh, there are quite a few differences. Overall, it's the same design, uh, just that the interior colors are uh, different. Um, SBS Transit and SMRT buses are two uh, different operators here in Singapore and they each bought their own Citaros. So I'm going to be comparing the two. It's Marceline MRT station. Uh, I'm at the stop just opposite of it. It's called opposite Marceline station. And I think we're going to ride bus route 925 because this is the most common uh, route for those sitars to appear on uh, unless um, unless a bus uh, like this comes on another service 187 is possible as well we'll see what comes there it is just behind that non A22 And we're gonna ride it on the most common route, about 925. Let's step inside. And overall, the first impression you get, at least that's the first impression I get, is that it's um, just a more sleek version of the SBS Transit specifications. And actually, this is uh, true. Um, SMRD added a lot more features. Uh, to their Citaros uh, when buying them. Um, you might notice, for example, um, I would even say that the colors uh, are generally uh, more uh, more high class looking. The silver poles, uh, the the blue seat covers. Um, and then another thing is the um, is the electronic display of the stops. Uh, this is something that all buses with SMRT specifications have. This is something that all of them have. Um, an electronic display, um, just a simple red one with the uh, bus stops. SVS Transit uh, never had that when they were uh, buying buses. The, the design, the shape is more or less the same. I mean, it's it's a Citaro. Oh yes, the unit that we're riding on is SMB 181X. As I said previously, uh, this is the rarer um, version of the Centaur in Singapore. Um, there are only 50 running of those. 50 of those running, sorry, I should say. Um, while the SBS Transit specification is uh, much more common, like there are over 1,000 
units running. See over here, this is the SBS Transit specification. Um, more common one. And then why is it uh, more common? Uh, one reason is because it's simply because SBS Transit placed a larger order on the, on them. While SMRT only placed a small order. But this model uh, actually first uh, debuted with uh, operator SMRT. They first bought a demonstrator bus in uh, 2010. It's still here in Singapore, but unfortunately it's been assigned to training duties. So uh, it's not in passenger service. of 50 buses which were delivered in 2011 and this is about at the same SBS Transit started uh, receiving their Sitaros at about the same time uh, I would say maybe a few months later but they also started receiving their um, orders in uh, 2011 the first batch uh, the delivery of the first batch uh, lasted until 2012, and then uh, three, sorry, two more uh, batches were uh, ordered. And uh, the other reason is uh, because later on, um, the land transport authority, which is, uh, as I said in the last video, the big boss here. Uh, started taking more control of the of the uh, public transport industry, and finally they were the ones starting to buy buses. As, so at first, uh, they they uh, bought several bulk orders of uh, of um, many models that both SMRT and SDS Transit. Uh, recently acquired at that time. So this includes the SBS Transit Specification Citaro, uh, the Volvo B90 L Wright, uh, the Enviro Alexander Dennis Enviro 500, uh, operated by SMRT, the MANA MD323 F895, and L323 F822. Uh, those were the first models that they uh, started buying. And so this is how the, um, the, um, the orders of the, of the SBS Transit Specification Sitaro uh, shot up. SBS Transit wasn't the only one buying them. The Land Transport Authority eventually continued to buy more and more of them in, uh, in all of the batches. They actually contributed to all of the uh, batches and they but they mostly bought the buses in the uh, third SBS Transit batch uh, which lasted until 2017 and this is why uh, many of the uh, Sitaros again this is as I said in the previous video this is a 530 Sitaro C1 facelift uh, and this uh, version only lasted, uh, the production only lasted until 2013, but they have, they kept this uh, version in production until 2017 just for the Singapore market. Um, so yeah, this is why you have a lot of them. specification Sitaros are the ones that are generally uh, preferred by the enthusiasts. They are rarer, uh, you can only find them in certain regions in Singapore. Um, they are more sleek, um, more 
luxurious inside. Even I, uh, even when I enter an SMRT specification Citaro, um, I get that sudden uh, wow feeling after because I don't normally ride them. I don't live uh, in the in the area where they run. Uh, so as a result, I, I I don't ride them often and often have to. Um, Actually, every time I want to, uh, I have to make the effort myself to uh, to write to write one. Now, um, the Citaros you are equipped with a 286 horsepower uh, Mercedes engine and a Voith uh, gearbox, a four-speed Voith gearbox. With the exception of the first few SMRT specifications uh, sitars, which are equipped with a 6 speed CF, um, but this one is a boy. Uh, the um, yes, so the first ones were equipped with a 6 speed CF Eco Life gearbox. Um, to be honest, I'm glad that they uh, continued to buy the ones with voice. CF uh, Eco Live doesn't produce very much interesting sound, very interesting sounds. Um, it's the Eco Mat, the older generation Eco Mat, that actually has uh, some character. And the demonstrator unit was actually fitted with an Eco Mat, but unfortunately, it got assigned to training duties, so there aren't really any um, Sitaros to enjoy from other than the few that have a nice voice but you really have to be lucky to find one that's usually the case model for buses, uh, which is um, where um, the bus routes are put into several packages and um, and they change the, oper the operator of those uh, bus services every five years. Uh, there's a contract that's signed with the bus operator. Um, for five years with uh, with an extension possible. All of this started in 2016, and because of that, the um, some new bus operators got introduced because they participated in the bidding and uh, won some of the contracts. That's why um, we have uh, two other bus operators than the SBS Transit. Then SBS Transit and SMRT. We also have uh, Tower Transit and uh, Go Ahead Singapore. The Citaro I rode on the previous video was the one from Go Ahead Singapore. And at first, those operators um, Those operators started using the buses previously running with either SBS Transit or SMRT buses, um, which uh, which got transferred as a result of the of the package they won. 
and then eventually they started leasing uh, new buses from the Land Transport Authority, uh, the new buses that the Land Transport Authority bought. Which is why, uh, which is why uh, Singapore, sorry, Tower Transit and uh, Go Ahead have a lot of those uh, models bought in uh, bulk orders by uh, by the Land Transport Authority, and this includes uh, the SBS Transit, Citaro, and some other models that I mentioned earlier. You know what, I'm gonna get off here. Yeah, and I say that because I keep I think I've said everything. Currently at the Kranji Industrial Zone, sort of in the middle of nowhere, um, but we'll take the bus back. So guys, um, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found the information uh, useful. And uh, yeah, uh, guys, comment down on uh, which bus or train models uh, you would like me to get on and talk about uh, in Singapore while I'm here um, for a few more weeks. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.